Ben, you get the first question here. As someone who spends a lot of time in Vegas and will for grocery shop in just four weeks, is there any like guilty Vegas pleasure that you allow yourself while you're there? Is it like hitting the blackjack tables? Is it food? Is it something else? Like, what do you do while you're there to treat yourself? Oh man, I I mean, because my my Vegas experience is usually so different to everybody yeah. else's, where it's sort of working every hour that That's I'm an understatement. and jet lagged. Um, Right. So I uh, no, number one guilty pleasure is the 6 a.m. Uh, Starbucks in the Mandalay Bay that op- by the um, by the shop entrance. It's okay. the only one that opens at 6 a.m. and you can get there first in the queue. Um, but, you know, the thing that we look forward to, uh, it's a bit of a tradition when the show closes. Yeah. Um, everyone's gone. Fingers crossed. Things go well. Bit of karaoke, bit of a hair down. Usually it's a late night, early morning in eye candy um that's the guilty pleasure and eye candy that's where you guys go nice that's chris's spot yeah that's where i had that's where i had my reception dinner and uh uh, that's where before my wedding that's where we all went yeah that's crazy wow eye candy good good call out ben actually you're getting all the lightning round questions today because you are our guest and so here's the next one gordon's the fish stick company has released a new line of apparel that according to fast company is doing quite well well being the operative word being that you hail from the birthplace of fish and chips where do you come down on the frozen frozen the frozen fish stick and is a frozen (laughs) stick better with or without mushy peas i mean look the second one's easy anything is better with that with 100%. 100%. 100%. No truer statement has ever been made on this show. <laughs> um, and fish, look, as a Brit, fish sticks, are, frozen fish sticks are clearly every which way wrong. But, you know, yes, they're all time in a place. <laughs> I agree with you wholeheartedly, my friend, wholeheartedly. All right, Ben, next question. Uh, you travel to a lot of grocers and see a lot of grocery related technology to bring the very best of the best content to grocery shop. I want to know what's the most remarkable thing that you've seen in the field in your last few months of research? I, I, re- I get really privileged in that sometimes I get into stores, into the back end of stores and yeah. see things that are new. I had the opportunity to spend a whole day in the back office of a Tesco um, extra store in the UK last week and um, spent a lot of time with their micro fulfillment and right. You know, micro fulfillment is an industry having a challenge at the moment. If you look at the suppliers, you look at the challenge that takeoffs having, et cetera. Um, So Tesco investing and opening new micro fulfillment is, is pretty remarkable. It was a kind of a real kind of listen up moment for me and for the industry and um yeah i've got a bit more to share on that but not until next week i'm afraid yeah i can't wait to hear more about that oh my god yeah yeah for every trend there's a counter trend and those that play the counter trends right tend to win in the long run all right so speaking of vegas bringing this home to vegas one more time adele ended her vegas run and reportedly told fans that they won't see her again for a quote incredibly long time ben how saddened are you by this adele news um i i think that's fine with me she's she's no she's no rock and roll star <laughs> you're not celebrating adele's entire collection ben I, it, it doesn't get a lot of play on my spotify <laughs> whoa all right wow. i see where you stand ben there might be a lot of adele adele fans coming no, for you but exactly i know she's electric for lots of people but it's not my not my particular cup of gravy especially for a country brethren wow love the honesty and the forthrightness all right